Please welcome the most current winner, and I think the all-time biggest winner of Dancing with the Stars, Derek Ha. Yay! Good to be home, guys. Good to be oh, home. Oh, yeah. Welcome back home to Utah. Man, it's good to be back. It's been great. It's been, I've been on this like, journey, you know, in these tropical places, and now it's good to be home where the snow is and the mountains. It feels great. Just in time for Christmas. Just in time. How often do you actually get back here to the state? Not as often as I should, yeah. but, um, but when I do come back, it feels amazing. Like, you know, just being here, like I said before, like with the mountains, it just feels like home, and uh, it's amazing. So you're out uh, just, what, journeying around, having a, a spiritual moment? What yeah, were you doing? it kind of was. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. It was like a little solo journey. I yeah. just kind of took my camera and went out to all these cool places around the world, and uh, it was. It was kind of just like a, a moment to yourself. You know, it's been such a busy and, and successful couple of years. Yeah. I just needed to take that time to sort of like, you know. To say, can I be by myself? It's nice. In studio, Utah's own Derek Huff. He's going to be at uh, the brand new store, Skin by Catherine, 443 West, 123rd South Draper, uh, Wednesday, January 30th from 4 to 6. And you're going to be autographing books while you're there. Yeah, that's right. It's, yeah. it's my sister's uh, brand new salon, and uh, she's unbelievable. She's truly incredible. Um, she does all like the facials and all the beauty things, and it, she just puts so much love into it. And uh, I'm just really excited for her, and so I'm going to be signing some books there uh, when people you know purchase some um, some services uh -huh. from her. And uh, it's going to be great, man. I'm really excited to, to, to see to see people there, and, and uh, but also to to share this uh, business with them. Cause yeah, of course. I just really believe in it. She's amazing. Is this one of those things to where she calls in the favor to you? Or Hugo's like, you know what? I'm there for the grand opening. I'm totally gonna help you out. Oh no! I, if, if anything, actually, you know, for me, I was, I was like, well, what can we do? Like, I, you know, cool. I would love to yeah. help you out. I want to help you out because she really is incredible. She's, there's something about it, you know. For me, you know, taking care of your skin and all things like that right. is pretty important, I guess. Yeah. When it's on TV and and oh yeah, you know, and uh, and I saw, I've had you know all those things, and she's just, she really is truly the best. She cool. Really is. In studio, uh, Derek Huff again. His event is happening Wednesday, uh, January, no, December 30th. Hey, uh, I saw the Nutcracker last night. Oh, you did? Yeah, and I knew you were coming in today, and I was wondering, did you do the Nutcracker growing no, up? No, I never did. I never Are you did. kidding me? No, I never did it. Really? No, no. We, we, it was funny because I, I, I went to a dance school called Center Stage, which is still here. Yeah. And... Um, and we did we did Christmas shows, but it was like they're like weird, like they were they weren't just like they weren't traditional. They were yeah. they were kind of like out of the box. Just and, kind of put their own spin on it. Yeah, they'd be like hip hop and stuff like that. So it was it was cool though. Was it something you wanted to do? I just feel like as a dancer, isn't that one of those things you go oh for the me for me personally? Yeah. not so much because I wasn't really big on ballet. Okay. at that time yeah. when I was a kid, it, it was like that's it was, lame, John. He can't <laughs> do that singer. I'm hip hop. Yo, yeah, I was, so, I was so street growing up. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I was so street. Um, but no, it, it wasn't wasn't really my thing personally. But I, I appreciate yeah. it a lot more now. Like Misty Copeland is an amazing ballet dancer, and she's a, one of my good friends. And so I'm, I, you know, it yeah. um it weirded me out the age difference between Clara, the young girl, and right. the Nutcracker. I don't think people realize I, Clara's like what. 11. The right. Nutcracker was like 30 something. Whoa, I'm hey. like, will someone call the cops? He's taking her somewhere here. <laughs> this is what's going through your mind as yes. you're watching the show. I felt like I was the only one who was actually in reality during you're that like, moment. Huh. Oh, man. That's, that's, that's a good point. I don't know. Yeah. In reality, but you use your imagination. That's the problem. I have none. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did mention growing up doing dancing. Uh, my wife wants to get my, uh, my son. He's four years old in a dance. Yeah. He, he seems to be one who just likes to dance. I hate to admit it, I'm having an issue with sure. it. Sure. Do I need to just get over myself? Is that you know what? Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing with dancing. It's yeah. like there's such a stigma attached to it. You know that it's like a feminine thing for guys. And, right. Um. But one thing that's really cool about dancing, and when you look at dancers now, is is they're just artistic athletes. You right. know. So if you like, you know, if you like, you know, sports and athletic sports, yeah. you know, it's just an artistic form of a sport. You know, that's basically what it is. Right. And so if you look at it from that perception, you know, for me. Dancing was such a like an empowering feeling, and it feels phenomenal. And also, if he's a, he's a boy, right? Yeah, uh, he's gonna meet some amazing girls. It's gonna oh, be great! It, I know you've done well that with <laughs> no, that. But so. you know what I mean? like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was my inspiration growing right. up. I was like, I want to dance because I get to dance with girls. Awesome, you know? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Derek Huff in studio. Uh, he'll be at Skin by Catherine. That is in Draper, four forty three West, one twenty third South. Uh, it's going to be on Wednesday, 4 to 6. Uh, you will be signing your new book. And, again, you're just coming off your win with Dancing with the Stars. Justin, you had a question. We were talking about this off air about uh, Derek and Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, we wanted because you're like, probably, are you the all-time winningest so far? Yeah. And at this, is there a pecking order now? Do you get to pick first? Is there like a draft and you're like, I get, I get this person? No. I, I, you, know what, you know what? No. There's, there's not at all. You're just assigned somebody? You're just assigned who, you know, to who you're given. But um. But the, the, and the way they do that, I know people ask me that, like, how do yeah. they do that? 
they do it on personality, off like, okay. you know, how they're, people are going to get along, off height differences. I know people who haven't gone on the show because they've been too short. For a oh, really? Yeah. So, um, so you know, it's it's all sort of relevant. Um, I know for me, dancing with Bindi this season, like, for me, couldn't have been a better partner for me. Not right. just because she was just really, she was actually good. Yeah. But because her energy, man, her, both of ours energy just kind of like meshed together perfectly. So I, I, don't know, I love her. She's amazing. So what he's saying is he's just that good that Anyone he's winning. Can win. Yeah, no right, matter who exactly. he's paired with, <laughs> you can still win. Oh no, I, I, let me say I've been very fortunate. I have been very fortunate with my partners, and I've been very lucky. But um, but it takes regardless. Even if you say like, say you, you get a ringer who's just already off, good off the bat, yeah, that definitely does not mean that you're gonna win. I think it, there's a whole formula of you know, things that happen in order to, to, to take it home. So His name is Derek Huff. He's going to be at Skin by Catherine this Wednesday, 443rd West, 123rd South in Draper. Hey, thanks for coming in to spend a few minutes with us. We do My appreciate pleasure, it. Man. My pleasure. Uh, I'm going to ask that you do the Nutcracker next year. I, yeah, we'll, so, you know, yeah. and I hope you speak up against uh, the age difference yeah, and say, we're, guys. We're a, younger, a younger guy. I guess. Right, exactly. <laughs> or an older girl. I'm not picky. Yeah, exactly. But right. something needs to happen. Derek, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys.